Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Wow, we live in a crazy, mixed up, confused, very much changing world as we deal with the crises in our country today, as we deal with the crisis of the coronavirus around the world. We're reminded that everything around us changes. Literally, honestly, you look at history, nations come and nations go. But one thing remains the same, and that is the Word of God. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. So my friend today, don't lose heart, don't give up hope. There is a anchor for our souls, and that anchor is the Word of God. And the Lord Jesus Christ, whom we find revealed in that Word, who tells us how much our God, the Creator God, loves us. Oh, He loves you today. So don't fret, don't worry, don't give up. Don't look around in frustration and confusion and join the rest of the world going down that path. Today, have hope in Jesus Christ. Have hope in His Word, His promises, His unfailing truth that never, ever changes. And that's why we, on this pastor's chat, take time every day just to encourage you in the Word of God. Everything's changing around us. This week, a change of guard, a change of our president in, uh, in, in, in the White House, and uh, wonder what changes that'll bring to our lives and our country. And maybe it'll bring a lot of change, maybe it'll bring little change, who knows? But I know this, I know the God who holds the future. Oh, I hope you'll trust Him and believe in Him. Keep your faith and hope in Him because He has proven He's loved us through His Son, Jesus Christ. And that's what we're looking at here in Romans chapter 3, where we found in verse 23, we've all fallen short of the glory of God. We've sinned. We violated God's holy commandments. We didn't keep them. If we sin in one point, we're guilty of breaking them all. The scripture tells us we've all sinned. Only one guiltless person, and that is Jesus Christ for 33 and a half years as a human. He did not sin. He never sinned one time and not one iota, not one way. He fulfilled the total law of God. But then he didn't come just to fulfill the law of God and show he could be perfect as a human being because he was God. No, no, no. He came to take on flesh to take us out of our sin. Oh, one of my favorite verses, inasmuch as you and I are partakers of flesh and blood. In Hebrews chapter 2, Jesus Christ himself, God himself, partook of the same, partook of flesh and blood. Why? That in a body he might pay the price for our sins. Through his death he would destroy him who had the power of death, that is the devil. Oh, what a great salvation God has provided. Now, in these verses, we're justified freely by his grace through the redemption. The price has been paid. We're taken off the slave market of sin. We are set free because of Jesus. Jesus, whom the Son sets free, you shall be free indeed. And then verse 25, whom God set forth as a propitiation by His blood through faith. Man, over and over again, by His grace, by faith, through faith, by His blood. Propitiation, a very important word in the New Testament. This word propitiation means in the place of, instead of. The Bible says that God made Jesus to be the propitiation for our sins and not for our sins only, but also for the sins of the whole world. What does that mean? That means what Rome, uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 21 says, For God made Jesus to become sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in Him. Propitiation means that Jesus Christ bore the full wrath of God in punishment for my sin and your sin on the cross that day 2,000 years ago through and by His blood. On that cross when Jesus shed His blood, His life blood was poured out before a holy God in punishment for our sins. That's why Jesus said on the cross, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? God turned His back on His own Son. God poured out His wrath, the wrath of all eternity, and the punishment for all sin upon His Son. That's propitiation. Jesus took my place. Jesus, in my place, in my stead, bore my sin and paid the full price of it. And only today, by faith in what He did for me on the cross, can I have eternal life. Oh, today, I beg you, my friend, if you've never trusted Jesus, He loves you. He died for you. He proved God's love. He gave His place. He paid the price for that sin. Trust Him. Invite Him in your heart today. God bless. Look at these verses over and over again and rejoice in the great salvation God's given us. God bless.